What's up, everybody? I figured I ain't got shit else to do tonight, so I figured I'd just give some personal insight to um, life as far as coming from my view and my eyes. And you know, it's like, I live life and I've learned to live it like, fuck it, you know what, man? If you got a chance to do something, do it. Go hard or go home, you know? Um, you know, you only live once and, you know, to, to try to experience something is well worth it. You know what I mean? But uh, for the most part, when I try to say to my friends and stuff that, you know, they, 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 they see me as like maybe an entrepreneur compared to them having normal jobs and stuff. And there's nothing, you know, I try to explain them. There's nothing necessarily great about it, like better than the next person, you know. Um, it's very stressful. Times are hard uh, for some of us right now. But at the end of the day, man, it's like you can have a normal job and you can excel very wisely. You know, I've had a lot of customers that have normal jobs. They just learn to, to spend their money, uh, save and invest correctly. So... You know, and, and, and that just comes from me telling you, like, I've made more money back in my 20s working 40 hours a week and and playing around and shit, you know, and, you know, doing other things and whatnot and than I do now. And um, I'm just saying, you know, like, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, that's the hardest part is people watch you and, you know, they think that, you know, sometimes, like I said, the problem with social media is everybody tries to compare lives and this and that you know um but my main thing is if you're one of those people you have to understand like you have to realize and really reflect to yourself and realize like as a person you know what do you have a value to yourself you know what do you know how to do you know the things is what didn't you pay attention to what did you pay attention to like there's people that have taught you shit there's people that have put you on game there's people that have giving you the resources it, you just, that you have in your head that you haven't unlocked yet to be able to put together to create something for yourself. You know what I mean? Like everything I've been through, that's what I realized what's crazy about my life. Everything that I have been through has prepared me for what I, what I do now, you know? Resilience, problem solving, networking, um, understanding, you know, distribution, understanding, you know, how things will click you know tick and talk you know and um you know leverage and negotiation and stuff like that everything in my life has taught me that you know and that's what i'm saying what in your life you have to put together everything that you don't even realize that you you have that you've held the knowledge and find a way to make it work for yourself you know what i mean and don't get me wrong like you don't have to be a fucking damn millionaire you know what i mean all of us just want to be financially free to some point right like just pay regular bills without having to look at shit you know what i mean i'd be happy at that and be able to travel where i want to you know i don't have to have a yacht i can rent one you know what i'm saying but you know that's just something to look at man like just you know like you know if you have a job or whatnot like what do you know what what have you been taught your whole life you know what the people in your circle, like, what are they talking about, you know? And, I, you know, when I, when it first clicked to me, when I started doing things, I realized, like, you know, I used to be this kind of guy that used to think certain people were stuck up and they want to hang out and do this. And I realized, like I said, a lot of them are just as cool as your friends, right? And I realized, man, I got, how do I got, I got these millionaires' phone numbers in my phone. Like, I know these millionaires, right? Like, why can't I... If I have them in my phone, it's like, I know these guys. Why can't I ask them questions? You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to ask questions of how people do what they do. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> it actually sparks curiosity, you know? But then the difference between sparking curiosity is then jumping to the hypothetical questions, especially when you don't have shit. You know what I mean? When You, you know, it's still good to ask. Like, the worst you can get is a no, you know? Or bullshit or whatever it is. But you don't stop there. You know, so for me, you know, people that have been following me, this has been a long ass story, years in the making. And I hope you don't have, I don't want to keep those for years, 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 but I'll do it as long as I have to until I get it right. You know what I mean? But I have a good feeling, you know, and, and the biggest part is being able to maintain a, a, a good circle, you know, a respectable people, man. You, you have to go through a bunch of shitty people to find a good 
you know, like I call it the round table. You know, you have to go through, you're going to go find the snakes, you're going to find the greedy ones. It's in every business, any any type of venture, and in, 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 I don't give a fuck what side of the road it's on. Always have the same characters, you know, and it's up to you to decide how to distinguish them and how to move around them or move close to them or whatever you have to do to figure it out, you know. And for me, that's all I've been doing right now is, is like chess is just being a pawn right now, honestly. Not even, <laughs> anything more than that. Just going forward, going forward, and going forward until I hit a wall. And if I get past that wall to get to the king, be king, you know, that's just all I can think of, 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 of trying to put it there. But <clears throat> we all have <clears throat> knowledge, man. And it's just up to us how to use that to make it most beneficial to yourself. And if you realize it, everything that you've been through in your life, you know, not just me, but what you've been through in your life. Um, I'm sure that especially most of the people that I talk to that are here today are very strong people. So you take that same energy and you find a way to make it useful for yourself to put in something. You'd be surprised what you come out the other end with. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised, man. And um, the biggest thing is no matter what, you know, you have to keep going. There's no questions asked about that shit. You have to keep going, keep going. Now, do you keep hitting a brick wall and just keep running your head in a brick wall? Absolutely not, man. You have to adjust and readjust you know, get up your game, learn some more shit, shake some more hands, do whatever you can to divert, you know, that negative energy into something else, man. It's hard, trust me. It's hard. And you'll and you'll waste years sometimes and months on something, but that's just the way it is. That's what you have to go through. That's the only way to figure out what you need in life and the tools that you need to move for, you know? Now granted I'm just making this video because I ain't made some sort of, I wouldn't say motivation, I just some positive shit, you know, because, you know, I I, I get messaged a lot, you know, and, and people just ask me, like, Mike, how, do you, how did you do this? How did you do that? You know, and it's, I, like I said before, man, you just ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask the hard question. If you want to get where you got to get, you're going to have to find out one way or another. So you're going to have to ask those questions to people that know how to do it. So you, you can either find a way to replicate it, make it a twist a little better, whatever you have to do to make it work for yourself. The one thing you have to always hold is integrity. And I'll tell you, no matter what, the thing is you don't get greedy and you, and you hold integrity because when a business deal goes bad, especially when something in your, in your, that you're known in, in your trade, if business goes bad, if you're the one that fucks up and does something slimy, everybody gonna know. Nobody gonna want it. Everybody gonna know. But if they know that you kept it 150% and the business fails, there are people that have been watching for years. People that are going to be watching you for years do your thing. They're going to give you that phone call. Or they're going to give you that ear. You know, like I said, when I went to Miami, you know what I'm saying? You know, buddy Eric, shout out to Eric and Holly Dyn Dynamics and, and uh, Brandon over there. But, you know, you know, I asked him a hypothetical question. He set up a meeting, you know, and at the end of the day, I didn't hesitate. I was tired to go off the plane and took my ass directly there. Because you know what? He's, he's from Omaha. He's not a local. You know, it's not too many chances you get. Take advantage of it. And that's how you should do every fucking relationship, every opportunity you get in life, man, is take it. You know what I mean? Because you're one conversation from changing your life. Like, you really are. You're one conversation from altering the entire portion of your life. Now, all I can do is pray and hope that everything goes the way I want it to go. You know what I'm saying? Um, God forbid anything bad happen or whatever, but I know that regardless, you know, I'm going to keep it 150%. That's all I can do. And at the end of the day, if anything fails, it's not going to be because of me. You know what I mean? It's just going to be because of, that's just what it is, or it's going to be because of the other person. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like I said, I got friends that are plumbers, electricians and stuff. You know, they, they do stuff on the side. They do all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? And work for somebody and live really good. So don't don't think you have to be an entrepreneur to live good, you know? You don't. You can maintain a job and, and invest correctly. But you just need the right people around you to teach you that. And on top of that, you know, if you don't have any of those, you know, by now you should have some skills, you know? And if you don't, just think about it, you know what I mean? Because you do. Everybody has a talent, you just don't know. 
you know, my challenge ain't singing. My challenge, ain't, I don't see, I don't think my challenge even lighting. I mean, I like it. I'm just a handy person, you know. But I think I'm a really good, as far as I love the, I love the art of negotiation. I do. I love being able to create value out of nothing, you know, and 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 working on that value and creating something, pushing it, and it working out. You know, that's what I love. I don't know why. I just, I just do. You know. Kind of hard to explain, kind of weird, but <laughs> that's what it is. But um, you know, I just want to share that two cents with you. You know what I mean? Um, I'm still here plugging away, doing the best I can. You know, and at the end of the day, like I want everybody else to know that, like, trust me, I make it look good on Facebook, but trust me, I got a, I got a fucking headache every day. I stress every day, and the only reason I do those things is to try to de-stress. But you know what? It doesn't ha it always help, but it helps. It helps to know that. When you have people with you that you're sharing the experience with and you see them happy and, and them experiencing new things and being able to take people out of their comfort zones, it, it grows on them and it teaches them a lot more value within themselves and, and the relationships that they have, you know? So you can carry that on as a grown up and, and understand the value of that, you know? So, um, you know, I don't know. I wanted to share that shit with you. So anyways, I ain't trying to make this too long of a, of a video, but, you know, that's just me. That's just Michael Z. All right? So, you have a good night. And I hope that some of you reflect in this, you know, after you see this, maybe look at yourself and be like, man, what do I know how to do? And, and let me figure out how to put together and get out of that hole that you're in. You know what I mean? Um, because it's all we can do. You know what I mean? I, I mean, if you want to go back, that's up to you. But that's not something I'm going to fucking do. You know what I mean? Um, so... Chin up, chest out. Alright? Y'all have a good night.